Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in or if you're new and just stumbling across this video. My name is Katrina. Thank you so much for watching. Now, as you probably already know, my hair is now copper. It's not looking very copper in this light, I must admit, but it is definitely still copper. But um, I'm having the time of my life with this color and I'm loving having my tape extensions out. So I have been loving doing slick buns and slick ponytails at the moment. And obviously the inspo is always Kendall Jenner. And so since you guys loved my slick bun tutorial from from like back at the start of last year I think I thought I would kind of up it a bit and do a bit of a Kendall Jenner inspired ponytail we're going for the 2022 Oscars Vanity Fair after party look she looked absolutely incredible and that's kind of just what I've been basing all of my ponytails and my slick buns off of I really love that style how it's kind of parted but it's still swept up and it's really sleek very flattering for like any face shape so without further ado let's get into the tutorial Alright, so before I start anything, I like to reset my roots with some water. I've just got it in this little spray bottle. And I just go ahead and spray some water just into the roots. I've always been told that water resets your hair. And so I kind of just live by it. I don't even know if it's true, but it seems to work for me. So if you do have any marks from like headbands or anything, you can kind of just get rid of it with some water. This also just helps to keep your hair really nice and slick while you're trying to style it before you put any product in. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead with the tail comb and just make a middle part down the center. Okay, so now that we've got this middle part, now we wanna try and bring our hair up into a ponytail that is quite high, but not like on top of your head. So you want it to kind of sit like up here. So I'm just using like a ball bristle round brush. And what I'm doing is I'm trying to slick it back and up, but keeping this center part. So you wanna kind of like swish it around, if that makes sense. So kind of like brushing it out to the side and back up to the back. But also while you're doing this, you wanna try and keep just a tiny bit of height right in the center. So you don't wanna kind of like slick it entirely. So you wanna keep the sides really slick and then keep a little bit of height right at the back of your part. So how I like to do that is if I'm seeing that it's looking pretty flat and it's all looking like the same height, I'll just go and really pull it back on the sides and you'll see that it starts to create a little bit of shape. It's only subtle. It's only meant to be subtle. It's not like it's supposed to be like a beehive up the top. You wanna to have just a little bit of texture. You don't want it all to be like super, super, fine and like sleek. You want the sides to be sleek, that's for sure. But up the top, you want just a little bit of texture. Another thing you can do is you can go and grab the tail of your tail comb and you can kind of pull it up a little bit right in that center part. Obviously that's a little extreme, but it's, you can then brush it down a little bit. But that's just another option if your hair is just not cooperating. So now we're gonna go and secure that ponytail really nice and tight it should probably hurt your head <laughs> so from here you could go and just curl your hair up a little bit give it a brush through and that would give you like a really nice Kendall Jenner inspired ponytail I'd go in with some hairspray I've got the NAC hair fixation finishing spray and this is a really nice lightweight hairspray but it really still holds your hair so I really recommend this one I think it's only like $12 or something like that. It's usually pretty cheap and it's a really nice one that doesn't make your hair like super crispy or anything either. I would go in and just spray over this and if you wanted to go even more hardcore, keep it really slick, I'd go in with a little gel stick, like an anti-flyaway wand. Um, this one is the Wispy Information Max and just looks like this. It's kind of just like a brow gel, but for your hair. So I go in with that for all of my flyaways. However, we are going to continue on because I've actually recently just received the Kiki ponytail, which I'm really, really excited for. I've actually received two of them, but we're gonna go with like the hardcore Ariana Grande style. I can't remember the exact name of it, but I'll pop it up here so that you guys know which one I'm talking about. But this is it. It's a clip-in ponytail. Woo, look at it, it's so long. I haven't had a clip-in ponytail in years, like since I had brown hair, that would have been like 2012, 
2020, like mid 2020 would have been like the last time I used one of these. This is what it looks like. So it's got a little clip and then it's got like a Velcro strap so that you can wrap it around. And then you've also got this piece here, which is what actually wraps around so that you hide all of the clip and the Velcro and all that jazz. So before we go in with any product, I'm going to place this in and go real Kendall Jenner style because she obviously had extensions in as well on the night. She had a nice, long, beautiful ponytail. So let's try and recreate that. So because this is a bit more of a heavy duty sort of ponytail, it's got a lot of hair to it and a lot of weight. What I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap my hair in a bun and I'm going to secure that with a hair tie. Okay, so that's gonna work as a pretty good foundation for that ponytail to go in. Okay, so that is how it's looking. It's very long and luxurious. Let's give it a bit of a brush. I did want to go and curl it, but I kind of like just the wave that it's got in it at the moment. It's quite nice. Um, and quite similar to what Kendall had. So we're just gonna go in with some hairspray now. Okay, so something that I'm just doing now to try and like, just give it a little more texture and not look so clean. Like obviously it looks clean, it's a slick pony, but again, you just want it to look like imperfectly perfect. So I'm just going through with that tail, just kind of dividing the hair a little bit around that center area because it's just a little too heavy now with this ponytail in to try and keep lifting my hair. I'm literally just going to start pulling my hair out of the root. So this is just something else that you can do if it's feeling a bit tight just to give your hair a little bit of character, you know what I mean? And then we are heading in right at the root with our flyaway wand. There we have it. I think that is the final look. Probably could have gone in and curled it or straightened it, whatever you like, but I feel like this is quite similar to how she kind of had her ponytail anyway. So that is the finished look. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Do make sure you let me know in the comments what you want to see next, and make sure you follow me on Instagram and on TikTok as well. Let me know what you want to see, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.